Hello and welcome. My name is Amul, and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Apache Web Server (HTTP) server on Microsoft Windows 10 with WSL or Microsoft Subsystem Ubuntu. This uh, should work with Debian as well. So if you have Debian installed instead of Ubuntu, this manual will help you install. Uh, Apache and start the server and access using your preferred web browser okay so let's get started so very first thing is you need to have this subsystem installed so first it needs to be enabled so I will leave a video link to help you enable subsystem and install Ubuntu on your Windows 10 operating system so once you have this WSL you can go ahead and launch it from here or you can simply go ahead and install another awesome tool that Microsoft launched recently that is Terminal and what it does it lets you uh, get into bash and launch command prompt and at the same time PowerShell so you can see it's very seamless and powerful stuff and it's very lightweight as well so once you have got this installed on your system this is not kind of mandatory you can do everything with this as well so what you need to do now go ahead and simply run this following time sudo uh, update and then type in the password once it's updated okay so there are a lot of things going to be updated here on my system i haven't run this update for some time okay so you can do the same thing with this terminal as well it's a very awesome tool you definitely want to have it installed on your system simply go to microsoft store just look for store and then look for terminal and go for this terminal from microsoft corporation now this has been done you can see now i simply need to do clean clear the screen and type sudo and hopefully you can see it uh, app and then simply say install Apache. And since I already have installed, okay, so apt spelling mistake. App. So it's been already installed. You can see now what you need to do you need to run the server. So you can see it's been installed. Now, what you need to do you need to go ahead and run this command sudo service Apache start. And this will start the server and what it's going to do it's going to ask Microsoft Windows 10 to allow this stream through its firewall so you need to simply say yes and then go ahead and launch your preferred browser and go to localhost and you'll see you've got this Apache Ubuntu default page which is pretty awesome what um, uh, what other thing I was saying okay so the other thing is if you do not want to install this terminal you simply go ahead and launch your command prompt and so we have cmd command prompt to powershell and simply say bash and it will change you can see now I've got bash so instead of simple command prompt I can run the bash script from here so you can see I've got all the memory I can simply go ahead and say sudo service apache to start or whatever I want okay so these are two three commands you need to run sudo app update sudo okay sudo app update sudo oops apt install apache oops here apt okay and then the last thing you need to do sudo service apache start and you can see now you can go ahead and use this awesome tool on Microsoft Windows 10 and do whatever you want. You can also go ahead and install PHP on here. So I've got PHP as well. So if I go ahead and say I've got 7.4.3. I don't have MySQL yet installed, but I'm going to install MySQL as well. So you can do it. it's more like a container now on Microsoft Windows 10 operating system and this is pretty awesome guys. 
So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, question leave in the comment below. I'll try to answer it ASAP. Thank you. Goodbye for now.